Hey, welcome everyone to another iOS video. Uh, today's video actually um, is also about a desktop component uh, of uh, iOS. So without further ado, let's get started. And it has to do with um, iOS, your iDevice, um, and the iTunes application. Now, I already have the iTunes application opened up here. Uh, my phone is already connected. Um, and on the left pane here, I have the apps um, entry selected. So what I want to talk about today is rearranging your home screens and your icons. Now, a lot of the times what I notice people um, doing and you can see um, the desktop application iTunes is here. And then I also have my phone. Uh, I have my phone running on the right hand side. And what I what normally people do is to rearrange icons and stuff like that so what they'll do is they'll uh, hold press and hold an icon they start wiggling right and then what you do basically is you start rearranging stuff like this right now that's okay but over time um, we have many home screens this is just one of my many home screens right I have multiple ones um, so or even on one page sometimes you want to like rearrange a lot of stuff now I noticed that people forget that in iTunes there is this um, you know app section now you have to have your phone connected now what happens is once you connect your phone uh, this left pane shows up you select the apps entry uh, in the center here you have all your applications listed and, and whatnot you know the list goes on and on and then on the right hand side you see how it says home screen right over there it says home screens um, now here's my very first one um, that you're looking at um, like on the left side on the right hand side as I said my phone is running and this is the very first home screen as you can see um, you know they look identical right so what you know one of the um, interesting things in iTunes in this section is that I can go ahead and rearrange stuff here in the iTunes application and then I can sync my phone um, using the sync button right here on the lower right corner and it will make the change on the phone itself so what I mean is let's say if I right here I have my kick application I have my twitch application I can right now go ahead and take and make a folder out of it right it's called social networking I'm just gonna leave it for that for the demo and then click out just like on your phone right you do that um, and there it is there is uh, a folder now on the uh, iTunes um, window right now you notice that change has not propagated to my phone my phone still shows kick and twitch um, rightfully so and um, this is just one home screen what if I mean I can literally take my second home screen which is right here I can hold it and literally move it and make it the very first one and and drop it and of when I was to and if I press sync at this point my home screens would have changed my main home my page one home screen would be different um, I don't want to do that right now so I'm gonna move it back but let's say I did want this change to take place right and what I'm gonna do right now is I created a folder as you can see with social networking um, and it has my kick and my twitch um, applications in it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit apply on the lower right corner here um, and here we go and what it does is, is of course you know it goes through uh, the backing up of the phone and whatnot and everything like that right but um, as the syncing process finishes in iTunes what you will notice um, is keep an eye on the right hand side window which is my again my um, phone which is running you'll notice that the twitch and the kick icons are um, currently individually located on the home screen and as part of this change um, you will notice here um, you know shortly that the social networking folder that we created on the iTunes desktop application is now going to get pushed or synced um, onto our phone now we're almost done here and wait for it BAM there we go on the right hand side you see now I have a folder here it says twitch and kick social networking and the change came through right now this is again I'm just showing you a subset you can play around with this you can go to multiple home screens keep doing this stuff and again you don't have to do this on your phone is what I'm getting at I noticed a lot of people you know play around with the icons on their phone it gets frustrating whatnot well there is an iTunes component which I noticed people don't know about um, and are not in the habit of using much so there you have it I hope that helps some of you out there thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one